currency company led to the arrest of a Palmetto pastor. The Manatee County Sheriff's Office says Jonathan Elwing purchased images of child sexual abuse. One week later, he's facing additional charges, this time for images involving him sexually abusing a young child. Fox 13's Kimberly Cuisan has more from Manatee County. Investigators here at the Manatee County Sheriff's Office still have a lot of files to go through on Elwing's devices, but what they found so far has sickened them. This is a monster. This is a man who went to great lengths to, to hide his true identity. He's the former senior pastor of Palm View First Baptist Church in Palmetto. Jonathan Elwing now sits behind bars, charged with multiple counts of possessing sexual images of children. So we're just going to, to continue to be very methodical in this investigation and download all this information. It takes time. Deputies arrested him after being tipped off to an online child porn purchase through cryptocurrency. One week later, he faces even more charges for more than a dozen newly discovered images, including two which show him sexually abusing a child. The concern is, is uh, are there other uh, victims, potential victims, given his close contact with children? 43-year-old Elwing resigned before he was arrested. Larry Bianchi, a deacon for the church, says he was hired a few years ago. We started you know, doing background checks and everything you could possibly do to, to uh, make sure this person was, was the correct person. Bianchi says the congregation is leaning on each other and their faith. And he, for all intents and purposes, appeared to be the guy. Uh, three and a half years down the road, it's, it's obvious now that long term he's not the guy. Sheriff Rick Wells believes there are additional victims. He would abuse anyone at any time. There doesn't seem to really be um, a limit to what he's capable of. The sheriff's office expects additional charges for Elwing. In Manatee County, Kimberly Quizon, Fox 13 News. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Recha HaKwadash. And double honors to the elder apostles and the bishops of Great Millstone. Honors as well to you, brethren, your fellow believers of this ministry, and shalom to the elect. I'll try to make this video quick. Uh, uh, the brother sent me this video. And um, we see multiple videos like this weekly almost. And it's got to make you think, uh, according to Christianity, I'm talking about modern Christianity, it's got to make you think. Is this a righteous so-called religion? Now, a lot of the Christians will say, we, we've we been pushing that there will be a falling away from the church. And I believe that's exaggerated when it comes to Christianity. Right? Well, first they have to have it in order to fall away. You know, the Acts, I believe, 17 says, The Lord dwelleth not in temples made by hands. And these temples are made uh, by sinners. Right, it was all built off of uh, sinners' corruption, and you got a lot of Christians who believe that salvation is for all. Right, you had, uh, you know, you go back in the 17, 1800s, you had some other um, Christians who was against that as well, but they were saying that they were the people of God and they didn't want to convert so-called blacks to Christianity. Right, that's why you had. Um, during the time of um, when the KKK came on the scene and um, they would help build, you know, let the so-called black people build their churches, the Israelites, um, they would come and try to burn them down. They didn't figure that we were worthy of being so-called converted. But on the other, the other scheme of things, they had plans already to make us better slaves. You can read books, I believe the book on that, on how to make a slave. All right, they knew that if we can convert these people because they're not going to convert, they're stubborn. Remember, if we're stubborn to the Lord, we're going to be stubborn to everything. So they figured, we just can't keep killing slaves, you know. Let's uh, convert them. And they converted us. And this is why you see the mindset of most of the male Christian, why they look so effeminate. Right, they soften Jake up, man. Anyway, let me get a scripture real quick. Uh, Matthew seven and seventeen. It says, "Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree 
okay, bringing forth evil fruit. So the corruption of Christianity has brought forth evil fruit, corruption, sickness, right, deception. Everything that we've learned, everything that we're doing, as far as the world goes today, you know, religiously, you know, that religion is what destroyed us. See, a people that says you got to love everybody, all can be saved, it's easy for them to say that when they're the oppressors. It's easy for them to say that. It's easy for somebody with a whip in their hand, chain you up, chaining you up, and say you must love everybody. God loves you. But you're getting whipped and beaten, but God still loves you. And this is what you see Christians do today. Our people are in a state of pure oppression, deception, sickness, deceit, and they can't see it's white Jesus. Is what's been taught. God loves all. God loves all. But then you see the, the condition of the world today. So how the hell is that possible? <laughs> God loves all, but do you see the condition of the world? Now I know you Christians will come with a scripture here and there. And I'm not here to debate you on that. This is for the ones who will get it. Hebrews 10 and 26. For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice of sins. Right? So these pastors, it's so bad that they had to get the pastor, and they have to do background checks. When have you ever seen the Israelites have to do that? When have you seen the stories come out on a large scale, let me say that, because you got some weird old freakos coming to the truth, on a large scale, that there's all kind of molestation of, of uh, children, right? <clears throat> Doing all kinds of sick things and freaky things, man. It, it goes to show you this doctrine is so corrupt that anybody, uh, what about the Boy Scouts? The Boy Scouts back in the day stood for something. Now, when you look at the Boy Scouts, it's all kind of corruption. I wouldn't dare put my children in a boy or girl scout, man. Yeah, they're scouting, all right. I wouldn't dare uh, subject them to anything like that. <clears throat> Let me go to Joel 3. And what it, uh, and they have cast... Let me go to 2. I will, gather, I will also gather all nations, right, and bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat, Yahweh Shapat, and will plead with them there for my people and my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. That's what they've done. So all these years, all through the history book, all through the Bible, that's what it is. The Lord is always talking about his people, his people, Israel, Israel, his people. But now, and all of a sudden, because they would not listen, he opened it up to all people. When we know the Lord is the one control all people. Man's goings of the Lord, Proverbs 20, 24. So he already knew them, who he chose them from the beginning. It's not a thing where the Lord just doesn't know who's going to be saved, who's going to be chosen, and, and then if you will, free will, decide to choose me, then I'll save you and throw the rest of you in a pit of fire forever. Which that's a lie too. Anyway. Like I said, I'll make this quick. I just wanted to touch on that. Um, this is Galatians 5 and um, this is Galatians 5 and 19. Now the works of the flesh are manifested, which are these adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lasciviousness, right? Let's look up this word lasciviousness and see what it says. Which we know from the sound of it, it can't be anything good. Because um, if you look, if you take a look at every so-called black Christian, take a look at them. Why they all look like that? <laughs> Why they all look uh, so effeminate, man? Okay, so let's go lasciviousness, which goes to lascivious, by the way. Uh, let's see what it says. Filled with showing uh, sexual desire, lewd, lustful. 
um, which doesn't have to technically be sex, uh, lewd, lascivious assault, crude, lascivious remarks, yeah. And uh, um, a lot of this comes out of the Roman Catholic Church, man. Okay, um, that's pretty much it. Let's go back here. It says, um, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance. And this guy was probably in another church, and they'll come back and do the same damn thing again. That's the thing about it. They'll get arrested. Those, those, um, those priests or those uh, leaders of the Boy Scouts, they would, they would put them in another parish, so to speak, and they'll send them somewhere else. And then a, a week later, they'll pop up somewhere else. They'll just keep <laughs> shipping them around and allowing them to commit these kind of lascivious acts. And a lot of them got wives. Right? Idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife seditions, heresies, all kinds of sick stuff, man. All kinds of sick stuff. So again, the bottom line, I'm not going to make this long. The bottom line is uh, this is sick behavior, man. And this is the reason, one of the biggest reasons why people are destroyed in the community. When you look at all the Christian churches in the ghettos, in the hoods, you know, it's kind of like a pharmacy being in the hood, right, or in different corners. And people still sick. You know? You know, this this proves in Deuteronomy 28, we fit the curse. And one of all things, I shall be evil towards your brother. You shall grope at noonday. You know, you um, curse when you come in, curse when you go out. We got so called um, pharmacies, food stores, churches, and in the hoods, and we all still sick. I thought the church was supposed to help you grow and be a better person, right? And then they got the mosque for Islam, which that religion, our people just join whatever they can get to, and they still sick because those people that that's it in Islam, they don't even help you with a store or business. They just keep their ice cream trucks and gas stations. So you would think that the church is on every street corner in the hood where it's needed the most, so to speak, that that would help heal the people and keep them loving Jesus, right? And be better people. Well, why isn't that happening? If Jesus was so great and Jesus was so beautiful and so glorious, by now, don't you think a lot of our people be fixed by now? But what you do see as Hebrew Israelites, you don't see us going to jail. You don't see us eating the swine, the pig, right? You don't see us as sick. Well, I mean, we all sick to a degree. But you don't see that same rotational behavior that keep us oppressed. We're being freed through the spirit. And they don't like that. Why do you think they don't like that behavior? Because now, uh, they and they want us not to know the name of the Lord. That's another video. But that's why they want that behavior. Because that, that allows us to commit, continue to commit adultery bring more confusion, kill one another, right? Eat whatever the hell garbage you're going to eat, which would destroy your mental capacity. You're under mental illness. You're taking pills. You're all sick. And this is all the root of Christianity. You can't procreate. All kinds of things, man. You're just sick. Anyway, that's all I have on that. Shalom.